Beloved, the last two weeks, the Lord has been um, putting very strong in my heart to share with you the emergency to experience Him. Now, this is uh, going to uh, bring, might bring some confusion. If your faith does not have tangible experiences to back it up, it's going to be very extremely difficult for you or for me to stand. One of the greatest blessings I consider myself to have when it comes to my journey with Christ is the package of hundreds of different ex testimonies, experiences that I have with God that is causing me and placing me in a place right now that it is impossible for me to doubt him. I mean, what I, what I mean by doubting him is doubting his existence, doubting the Bible. I feel strong in my spirit, a heavy attack against the church and against the pillar that has made Christianity what it is today. If you don't develop, if you don't have tangible experiences with God, it's the time for you to ask of it. You know, we don't have because we don't ask. It's the time for you to say, God, I want to hear your voice if you never heard his voice. God must be real. You don't doubt something that is real. So I hear sometimes people are uh, disputing and doubting. I was having an argument with uh, someone and he was doubting the existence, the, the, the existence of the, the reality of angels. As he was talking, I couldn't argue. I was looking for ways to argue, but I couldn't find ways to argue. Because inside me, I have seen angels with my eyes. I have seen angels. So it's impossible for me to doubt it. So I, I have having discussion with people. Oh, demons is just in your mind. It's just in your spirit. And they're having some all kinds of arguments. And I sit down. I look at them. I can't argue. I say, my God, why? I have seen demons with my own eyes. So, I am not saying that you believe you should believe the Bible only because you have experienced it. But what I am saying is that you must seek God and experience God. If you ask God to experience Him, you can. God will grant you to with tangible experiences. That is the, Hundreds of people having tangible encounter with the person of Christ. L divine ap uh, appearance. Jesus is appearing to many around the world. That person could be you. I am saying this because there is a waves of unbelief. Like a wind of unbelief that is being blown into the world today many are doubting now their faith but you see you cannot doubt your experience you cannot you cannot and it's biblical you know the apostle paul says that that when he was he said when i was with you he was talking to the uh, to the corinthians that his message was not based on the wisdom of men now you have to understand that the apostle paul was a very smart man when you read him you understand that he really was a extremely smart but when he was preaching he said i made sure that i released the word to you in such a way that your faith is not based on wisdom but in demonstration of power in other words, I want to lead you to have an experience with God that you cannot doubt. I want your faith to be based on the power of God that you cannot dispute, you cannot doubt. Why? When temptation comes, when trouble comes, it's easy if you don't have experience, 
if you don't understand the mysteries of God, it's easy to doubt him. Three things you must keep. Number one, experiencing. You have to seek that experience with God. Number two, you must seek understanding. You must understand what you believe. You must understand what you believe. I'm not saying that you should believe only what you understand. But what I'm saying is that once you believe something, seek God to understand what you believe. You know, seek God to understand what you believe. Do you understand what you're reading? Do you understand what you're reading? Do you understand what you believe? I believe that you don't need to believe everything when you believe the essential. Every other thing could be understood. When there is alignment between your brain and your heart, between your faith and your reason, it becomes very difficult for the enemy to take it away from you. When you have faith, and you have understanding and you have experiences that backs up your faith my brothers and sisters it becomes almost impossible for you to deny god my prayer for you is that you experience god for yourself you have a tangible experience that will cause you to never doubt him again. I like to um, to tell you that um, I feel very, very privileged and very blessed. You know, I wasn't born with the Bible, so I had to question everything I was reading because you know it's, mo most of it didn't make sense to me when I first believed. I was full of contradiction when I opened the Bible for the first time. But by the grace of God, I said to myself, if I don't understand, it's not because it's wrong, it's false. It's simply because my mind and my intelligence is not up to the level. And I had to seek God, asking questions to understand asking question to understand i i heard the story of this pastor he was a minister of the gospel and today he don't believe anything he don't believe the bible he doesn't believe in jesus christ he doesn't believe that jesus ever existed he doesn't believe um uh, in the power of the holy ghost he doesn't believe in healing he doesn't believe in nothing he went to a uh, secular university to study theology and he came out unbeliever why for me my simple experience my simple answer to that he had faith in god but lack understanding and experience with god when you have faith in god great you need to seek understanding and you need to crave for experiences with god you cannot doubt your own experiences Faith is very personal, very intimate. Back your faith with understanding and experiences to stand the waves of the end time. God bless you richly. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye.